from here, instead of feeling we start going this way, we're gonna start feeling the wrist hinge. So you are somebody I see a lot of when I'm out on tour. Slowly start getting it open, going back, 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 it's open. You get a little bit long, the trail elbow gets behind you, you come down, face is open, and then through impact you just stall and scoop, right? This is probably by far, I mean through my life of touring, for the player who's in the 80s, the most common pattern that I find. Good news is it's an easy fix, okay? First of all, we have to put you in a position where you get the club face under control, right? Once that club face starts hitting benchmarks going back to the top, then in the downswing, then we can turn through it and get that athletic move where the chest is turning, we can compress the ball, we can hit it farther, right? But we have to get those checkpoints first, okay? So we're gonna work on the takeaway, but come on in here, I wanna see your grip. Okay, so you have a, a, a fairly strong grip as it is, okay? Now, we're gonna get you set up better. So set up for me, go ahead, grip the club, set up to the ball. Don't worry about the target, just go ahead and set up. Okay, when you come back, our first key is gonna feel we're taking it away with our chest, okay? okay. So keep going this way. Now you notice how the club head hasn't done anything, right. the toe is still down. From here, instead of feeling we start going this way, we're gonna start feeling the wrist hinge, okay? A lot of people get in here and have trouble with a super weak grip, okay? That's where everything starts getting open. Your wrist is fine. It's just this movement, that roll, okay, that gets us in trouble. So we wanna feel up, keep turning your chest, keep turning your chest. So see how we get to the top there? Mm -hmm. Now, feel like your arms are gonna be looser and push them away from your body. There you go. Feel that at the top of your backswing for me, okay? Yep. Okay, now start over for me. Show me that movement where you're gonna keep that arm straight out, turn back, there you go. Now start hinging up, hinge up, there you go, keep turning, keep the arms pushed away. Don't worry about that right elbow getting into this, tucking into you. Okay. There you go, there you go, good. So, to learn that, we're gonna, we're gonna hit our golf ball in what I'd call a freezer, okay? You're gonna go up to the top, get that position and freeze. Now you're probably still gonna try and throw all your angles through impact, okay? So when you do that, that golf ball is still gonna go left. Okay. All right, so go ahead and give me a freezer here. Better, hit it. Actually, that was pretty straight. That was really good. All right, so we got you in a position where you don't have to scoop it, okay? Now, face is more controlled. Everything's in a good position. We need to train our body how to turn, right? So we're gonna take a drill where we put an alignment stick through the handle like this, and I'm gonna have you just sit here and bunt a few golf balls. Now, if you watch, I have to turn my body or I hit into myself all day. I just thwack my side, right? So I just want you to feel like you're turning and getting everything into your front side over and over and over again. Now, if you flip your hands or scoop your hands, that's gonna lead you trouble, right? So just rotate and turn and get on the front side. Come up here, let's try this drill. Beautiful, okay. Now, I want you to grab a golf ball and just bunt it out there nice and slow, no speed. Just really feel the rotation, just bunt it about 20 yards. Good. See, do you feel, did you, did you feel that hit your side at all? At the very end maybe, but not through impact. That's the, that's the feel we're trying to create when we're taking the hands out of play and we're keeping the chest rotating, right? Just turn it. So your pattern is actually a good player pattern, okay? It's got problems. Like I instantly walked up here without seeing you hit a golf ball, just saw the video of your swing, and told you you hit big blocks and big hooks, right? You are underplaying big time. Now, what's the, if, if, when you were on launch monitors, what numbers were you looking at in terms of path? 10 plus? Yeah. 10 plus, yeah, yeah. okay, that, that checks out. So we watch you, you have pretty upright hands, you shallow really hard, the club head back here, and the body, you see how my chest is still back here? This is where you are working into impact, and then you just try and late flip and turn, do impact, it, it just doesn't match up. What you need to do is you, we, we need to get you sequencing your body up so it's turning earlier, okay? So, 
we need to create a rotational feel out of the out of the pelvis, legs, and shoulders. Okay. Now, if I go here and I just shallow it out with no turn, I'm here, right? If I go here and I make the same shallowing motion, but I rotate, that club's in a good spot, right? I can do anything I want to a golf ball through impact from there versus here where I'm in big trouble, okay? So the first thing we wanna feel when we get up to the top of our backswing is that we're gonna crunch the lead side down and back. So you watch how my lead side is moving this way. Okay, now when that starts to happen, if you, if you think about sequencing in a backswing, right? I'm up top, I get about 45 degrees of, of hip turn, 90 a shoulder turn. From here, when I start moving the hip out, that's gonna start opening up my chest, right? So that's the feel we want. We want the chest rotating. If, if, if you were a player who brought the club out, got the shaft steep, you wouldn't want that rotation, right? But someone who really shallows the shaft as well as you do, that's, that's the movement that you wanna get really far behind and just work and learn how to turn. So come on up here, stay there. Slowly in transition, feel this movement is happening. So you see how I'm moving that pelvis back? Keep it low, keep it crunched. There you go, there you go. See where your chest has gone? Yeah. Okay, now most importantly, see where this club is going. See how it's more out in front of you? Yeah. Okay, that's using your chest and the rotational movement of your chest to get that shaft out in front versus you getting back here. Okay. Right, does that make sense? Yeah. So let me see you do that on your own. Go back, freeze. Just show me that transition move. There you go. So don't sit down like this. Don't crunch forward, crunch back. There you go, start over again. Up top, freeze. Crunch back for me. Good, 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 good. So now, let's hit, let's hit a couple bunts, okay? Go up to your back of the, top of the backswing, freeze. Now, just slowly make that move and try and hit it about 10 yards. Real slow. Good, great work, great work. So I want to teach a player how to rotate, right? I always start out with those slow motion rehearsals and then I increase speed, right? There's some drills we can go to. I'll come back and see where we're getting. But if we could just start out slow and then slowly increase the speed, I think we're gonna get the feel. Okay. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I come out with new content every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thanks a lot, guys.